guys, my name is Nick AK Folky, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall and mount a hard disk drive into your laptop. The tools you're going to need are going to be a jeweler's screwdriver, lips, preferably a jeweler's fathead, or if you can't have a jeweler's one, you can use a torque or just a plain old one. Of course, I'm going to be using ESD gloves, stopping any ESD from happening, and preferably have an ESD strap grounded to a decent source. Okay, let's get on with the video. Okay, first off, start with turning your laptop off. Okay, and we turn it over, you'll be greeted by this site. Okay, now, most laptops vary, you'll have your hard disk drive either in a compartment on itself, like that. Or you'll have one massive cover. Okay, you need to take each screw out. This laptop, fortunately, just has one compartment there. Okay. So you have your hard disk drive there, the RAMs here, and your RF and Wi-Fi connections are there. Okay, first we want to take the laptop battery out. Okay, most laptops can be different. They'll have two there normally, and you just pull them like that, and it will pop up. This one just has one, so we'll just pull this across, pop up like this. Okay, all like so. Put that aside. All right. Now I'm not putting on my gloves because obviously I can't get hold of the screwdriver properly. So when we get down to that, we'll put that on. If you haven't already, make sure you've touched a piece of metal to. Make sure you zero potential, ESD and all that stuff. If you don't know, don't know what ESD is, then check out my article on my site. I'll leave a link in the description. It's a good read, so worth checking out. Right, so you're, right, we'll turn it around. Okay. Now most disk drives will have either two screws or four screws. Okay, or one screw maybe. This one, we'll just take the two screws out. Now if it's if, oh, 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 oh. Before I do anything, make sure you check that this isn't still under warranty, okay? So check your retailer, because they can do up the upgrade for you, if that's the case. Okay, and we'll get back to it. So we'll take out the first one, like so. Now the screws, if you take them out the first time, they can be quite hard. Because what manufacturers will tend to do, they'll put a glue called Loctite around the threads. And this just stops the screws coming loose via vibrations. Also. So if you struggle the first time to get them out, don't worry. Just try not to put too, force, too much force down, because in excess of force can obviously damage your monitor underneath. And can damage the hard drive. Okay, and sometimes your hard disk drives will have enclosures, sorry, will have little grooves at the side you can put up your fingernails. But this laptop in subject, I can't actually do it, so I'll just gently take a jeweler's flathead and pull it up. Okay, so you want to pull it up slowly and then pull it out that way. Most of these enclosures will have like little grooves like that. And that's why I pulled it up slightly that way and then pulled it out. Okay. That's your hard disk drive. And now I'll put my my gloves on. Give us two secs. Obviously, if you've got a um, grounding point, you can buy a grounding socket for ESD. You can clip yourself to that and it'll save with glove issue and trouble. All right. Okay, so most of these in hard disk drives will be seated like this. Yeah, they'll have either three screws. This one has three. Okay, or they have four screws. As before, we'll just take out the screws. Do, 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 do. We'll do that one. We'll do the second one. And we'll do the 
Verfärbung. As you can see, these gloves are a nuisance. And like that. Okay, when you take out your hard drive, you've got to make sure it comes out like that. And then it'll come up. The majority will be like that. Because you don't want to put it straight up, otherwise you'll damage connector there yeah and most hard disk drives will have a tab here okay you just gently pull it and it'll pop out okay you do the same tag and just slowly pull it out like that and there you go okay we'll see you'll find your relevant hard drive information there this one's seriator 160 gigs, and you'll find your serial number there, okay? Okay, and then your hard disk drive will be situated in a caddy like this. So you'll take that screw out, and you'll take that screw out, and you'll take that screw out, and you'll take that screw out, okay? And then it'll just slide out. Right. So it'll slide out that way. And then just slide one back in, and then you'll repeat and do it up. I'm not going to do it out for you now because it will just it will save time. I want this to be quick, easy, and painless for you guys. And that's it. Remember, don't do them up too tight. When you when you put it in the in the bay, slowly seat it back down. Okay. Use a tab. Push the other end until it clicks into place and it won't move or anything. Okay, take my gloves back off. Alright, so I'll just put the screws back in. Do it one by one again. You don't do it up too tight. Be careful when you're handing the hard disk drive as well. Because unlike SSD drives, they if they're not too harshly, then they, they will break and they will fail. I've had a couple in the past where not me, but someone smashed it by accident. And it's failed over time and it started crashing. And you don't want that. Alright, so we've got a cover back on. Remember, remember the two notches before. So we'll just situate that. Slide it in, okay. Push it down, make sure it's flat. And put your screws back in. And then we'll put the second screw back in. Too much energy drink. <laughs> right, again, make sure they're not too tight. Make sure it's flat, contours with the laptop. We'll turn it around. Alright, and this, we line up the grooves, obviously, with the grooves here. And there's three notches here. This will go in diagonally like this. Okay, and then just gently push it down and it'll click into place. Like so. Okay. If there's any questions you got, put them down in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video. Until next time, carry on learning folks.